uh, in this video, I'm going to give a very brief introduction on model interface inside the Spring. Okay, this is an interface name called the model. And I'm going to give you detailed explanation in tomorrow's video. So suppose you have a method inside the controller, okay, like uh, 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 gate uh, product list, how about that? And uh, you have a request mapping uh, or get mapping here, which you have a URL called uh, list, okay? And when a user make a call to this list, and uh, you gonna return a page, suppose called product list page. And in the product list page, you have a loop, and you loop all the product and the display on the page. So now the problem is, suppose here you have a product, list of product, products, okay? And uh, this part is to query for a database to retrieve the information for the product list. Now the problem is you want to this product is sent to to be to be used to render the product list in the GSP page, right? Previously in uh, servlet, you might using HTTP servlet request. Okay, you were using this one, HTTP servlet request, right? And you're using request dot set attribute to give a key value pairs. And in Spring, Spring MVC are designed to be HTTP agnostic, which means it's not recommend you to using HTTP servlet APIs, which means you directly using HTTP servlet request, HTTP servlet response, HTTP session, or servlet context those. Instead, you're using the wrapper, which is the API provided by Spring to use that. So how can then how can I put this product in the request scope? You're using model. This is an interface provided by Spring, okay? And uh, then how to do that? You're using model dot add attribute. Okay, add attribute, and you give a key. Suppose you call products, and the value here is this value, is this value. Okay, you give the products here. Okay, this is a key, this is a value, and on this GSP, you're using this key to render, okay, to get the collection, then you for loop, then to render those informations on the page. And uh, this line, okay, let me change the color. This line equals using request dot set attribute. Build, okay, then you give a key products and the products. This value, this statement is equals to this one, okay? And that's a model. And I'm gonna teach you more about a model tomorrow, okay? Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.